Hi guys, welcome. Again, my name is Mrs. De La Cruz. I'm the music teacher and I have my wonderful helper here who's my daughter Isad. And um, this week we are starting a new unit and we're going to be working on it for a little while. And we're going to be looking at songs about animals. Do you have a favorite animal? Do you have a favorite animal? Um, it kind of depends what it is, like if it's a sea animal, but I'd say I like puppies mm -hmm. a lot. Puppies? I, I like puppies too. I also really like horses. Me too. I, was about to, I, I forgot what I want like to horses, but I like horses, dolphins, and puppies. And puppies. So as we're working on our animal unit, um, uh, there's some activities about like drawing your favorite animal and sharing uh, your favorite animals with me. So um, you can do that and you can think about as we're singing today what your favorite animals are and why. And some of the songs we're going to be singing are silly. Our song today is pretty silly, so I'm going to be teaching you the song, and then we're going to be adding in um, some percussion. You want to show the shaker? And um, also some different notes for the song. So we're just going to say the words and clap them so that you guys can learn the words. And don't worry if as you're watching this you don't learn all the words right away. This song has a lot of words, um, but if you, even if you learn some of them, that's okay. So um, the first part goes, I'm going to say it and clap it, and then I'm going to have you guys say it and clap it back, okay? So it's going to go, I went to the animal fair. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. Let's try that one again. There's so many words, and I'm going to go slower. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. Great. And then the next part says, You should have seen the monk. You should have seen the monk. He sat on the elephant's trunk. He sat on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. And what became of the monk? And what became of the monk? And the end, we're going to just repeat those words, the monk, the monk, and we're going to get quieter. So it'll go like, the monk, the monk. Try that? Okay. So you go. So I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to have you repeat it. And you guys too at home, okay? So I'm going to do it one more time, the ending, and try to get really quiet at the end. The monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk. The monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk. Good job. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to add our notes, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to play it and I'm going to have you guys listen. And everybody just listen to the piano notes and see what they sound like. Okay, so that was the melody. Those were the main notes of the song. So let's sing them together, and then we'll add our percussion, okay? <laughs> so I'll sing one line, and then I'll have you guys sing it back to me, okay? Are you ready? I went to the animal fair. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon. The big baboon by the light of the moon. Was combing his auburn hair. Was combing his auburn hair. You should have seen the monk. You should have seen the monk. He sat on the elephant's trunk. He sat on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. And what became of the monk? And then at the end we're going the monk, 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 the monk. 
okay, good. We're singing more of the monk than they have in the music, in the sheet music um, that's there. So we can sing it as many times as we want. We're just getting really quiet, okay? So we sang that through. I think we should sing it all the way through both together, okay? So if you guys can sing it with us, as many of the words as you know, and remember, you don't have to know all the words today. We're just learning it, okay? And I'm looking at my music. So if you want to look at your music that's there with the lesson two, you can look at the words and that's okay too, okay? So we're just going to sing it through all the way. So we're going to go... Um, Ready and I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. You should have seen the monk. He sat on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. And what became of the monk? The monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk. Okay. Good job. Good job to you guys at home, you're doing great. Um, so now we get to do some of the fun parts. So can we see our egg shakers again? Okay, so that's some percussion. It's just like some rhythm to add a different sound. If you don't have an egg shaker at home, don't worry. You can use, if you have a drum, um, like a hand drum, any kind of a drum. And if you don't have a drum, you could use a pot and a spoon. You could use chopsticks. You could use kind of like two spoons together. Any sound that will add a rhythm. If you want to press pause on the video and go and get them and make sure you have your parents' permission with whatever you're using, you can press pause and come back with your rhythm instruments, okay? Okay, so if you have an instrument, um, you can play it with us. And if you don't have an instrument, you don't need an instrument. You can just use your voice too. And we're going to keep going. We're going to add our percussion to the song, okay? And do you want to do the shaker and a note? Sure. Okay, so Isad also wants to play a note on the piano. If you have a piano at home and you want to try playing just the note C, the C note on the piano, she's going to play a high C. You want to play it? And she's just going to play it and, and try to play along and, and listen to how it sounds. And um, she wants to play that note and also, and you can play the C the whole time. You never have to change it if you don't want to. Um, there's also a G in there, but just for today, we're just going to play the C. And um, you can also use your percussion instrument on a steady beat. So it would be like, I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. Or you can add any other beat you want to. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. You get to choose the beat you want to add. So Isad's going to choose the beat that she wants to add. And we're going to add our C note. And we're going to try it the whole way through. Are you ready? Okay. And I'm going to be playing the piano and singing with you guys. And looking at my music. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. I went to the animal fair, the birds and the beasts were there. The big bubble by the light of the moon was combing his open hair. You should have seen the monk, he sat on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees and looked into the monk. The monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the you guys that was so great should we try it one more time sure. okay so we're gonna try it one more time the whole way through with a rhythm instrument if you have one or if you want to play a C note on the piano you can do that too and if you just want to sing you can too and if you're just listening you can just listen too okay so here we go um, ready and five six seven I went to the animal fair the birds and the beasts were there the big So that was our first song about animals that we're singing together. And we're going to be singing some silly songs about animals. 
So um, take a look at the other music activities that are there that all have to do with animals. And um, feel free to send me an audio or a video recording of you working on this music or percussion or any music that you want. Maybe it's just you singing or maybe it's you playing an instrument and you can share it with me and you can tell me whether you want me to share it with um, other kindergartners and first graders at your school and I can do that too, okay? And my email address is on uh, wherever you found this lesson, my email address is there too. And if you have any questions, you can also email me questions too, okay? So good job today and good luck for the rest of this week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!